We're here for a Leatherface ritual today. With our movie reviews. If you, if you caught on, those were the titles of the two movies that we did. Um, we started with Leatherface. Um, I guess this was kind of the origin story of... Texas Leatherface? Chain, Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. You know, the guy who's in that. Uh, Leatherface. Um, I thought it was actually... I, I thought it was interesting. Um, there there were a couple creepy creepy moments in it. Um, it was gory, a lot of a lot of blood in it. it okay, didn't really okay. hold back any. Okay, not gory per se, because um, they didn't really show anything uh, like skin. You know, they shoot a guy, blood splatter, but they don't see the head. Mm, show yeah, the I guess. Head Look at so it. So there, there, there was blood. I thought it yes. was a good use of the, the blood gore factor. You know, sometimes in shows or stuff like that, they they just put it in there just to put it in there. Mm. I, I I didn't feel that in this. Um, the story was a little disjointed. I thought it, I felt a little like, hey, crazy man, crazy family, of course, blah blah blah. And I'm like, okay, well, this is pretty obvious where Leatherface came from. You know, well, no, and that and that's, I thought that was a weird thing, was that he he, yeah, uh, we're gonna spoil the hell out of this one. So if you plan on watching it, pause, watch, Go watch it. it, come back, come back. Okay, um, he was the normal one on in the in the family, the one who ends up being Leatherface. He's the normal one, and when him and his um. But he had like psychotic episodes. I would call him episodes where he kind of went off the hook, right? He kind of went off the handle. Well, no, okay. It, when he went off the handle, he went off the handle for perfectly legitimate reasons. Yeah, but he would go too far. Like he would go off the handle, but go too far. Then I think that was the why he got okay. put in the institution. No, right? no, 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 no. He got put into the institution because uh, they wanted the kids away from the crazy family. Mm. Uh, Right, that's my that was my impression that I got. It was they didn't get taken to a foster family; they got taken right to the it's institute. A crazy house, all of them did. Yeah, and it's just like, so would he have turned out a little bit more normal if he was actually put in a normal foster situation? Team. Yeah, because they put him right into a nut house, and the only way to survive in a nut house is to be, be a little nutty. nutty, right? You know, he was trying to be normal. He wanted to be normal. He wanted to have a normal life. He just wanted to. To be normal, but um, everybody kept pushing him towards the little bit of insanity, and it's just like. And well, I think there was a little bit of that crazy in him, and I think he was trying to suppress it and, and kind of push it away and kind of be better than it. But eventually, at the end, he just kind of. Well, yeah, he he got the bum end of the the whole stick for that his one. Mom, but when says mom, his mom's crazy. Mom and whatever, whatever. Crazy um, bitch. Yeah. Uh, I, I honestly thought the fat guy was Leatherface. Yeah, that's uh, right yeah, up until it kind of boom. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's not Leatherface. Yeah. Oh, so Good. the brother is. Yeah. Uh, it kind of came across that way. The big guy, Leatherface, because that <coughs> he looks like a big guy. You know, this the guy who turned into Leatherface was a average build looking dude. And... Yeah, I I just I just don't I, the the Texas Chainsaw Massacre mythos is really interesting, and it could have. Uh, it's gone interesting places because they've had like uh, um, 10,000 movies of it it seems yeah, like yeah somewhere around there, there. Um, and they're always interesting they always give a little bit of the family and then you know it's not just him it's a whole clan that kind of is a little off their rockers but this it, it just didn't feel like you know um, okay that's great he had that um, it was you know uh, when they're running away he gets shot in the face and you know his jaw gets ripped to shreds it's like hey that's uh, cool yeah that was kind of neat and then his mom stitched him up and put that little thing on yeah, her face so yeah. couldn't open her right but how do you go from there to sewing your own human leather mask yeah. and going I think that, that it wasn't that, like his first victims. Maybe I think that's what it was. I think that's significant of the faces. Like they're his first victims, the like people, the first people he killed. But it it did definitely feel like it was a it was it was like um, an A minus movie kind of thing. Like in, like uh, you know you got B and you got A movies. You know I I I it was kind of trying to not be a B. Yes, it it was definitely but, trying not to be a B movie because this movie came out in the theaters, didn't it? Oh, uh, I think it was. I remember I'm seeing like a. Sure. Uh, I remember seeing uh, like a trailer for it on the television and going, oh, and then I 
forgot about it and I saw it on Netflix and I went, okay, click, list. Yeah, I can't say that I was particularly fond of it. It was it decent. Was like, it wasn't like blow you away, fucking good horror movie, good thriller, whatever. It no. was just like, eh. Eh. If you liked like the Chainsaw movies, I would check it out just because it kind of gives a little bit of uh, kind yeah, of a little bit of context to who they are, yeah, and what they are like, as a family. If if you enjoyed the, that series, if you enjoy yeah. his character, you'll probably enjoy this movie. But if you're not a particular fan, one way or the other, yeah. it's kind of like you're not missing him. And... If you haven't seen but, the, the but, Chainsaw but movies, it was funny. Danny Rand, the guy who plays Iron Fist. He's in this movie. It sucks to be you. <laughs> is that bad? Yeah, oh. it's like when when you see somebody famous, and then they end up having to to um go down a level. They're up here yeah, and they go down here. Yeah, yeah, and you know, um, slum it. Yeah, you know, and it's like he definitely seems like comes across as a slumming mm. type role, and it's just like. I really hope this was before your <laughs> Iron Fist, because if it wasn't... I would recommend watching it. Mm. I would check it out. Like I, th- I think yeah, I think it's worth a, worth, a, worth a little bit of a watch. Turn the lights off, get some popcorn, check it out. I, w- I would check it out. Yeah, well, yeah. I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be memorable. I'm not going to be like, you're going to be like, this is fucking amazing, but it's going to be... Yeah, you know, it's would. not Shakespeare. If you got time and you're not doing anything, if it's rainy outside and you're having a movie day and just throw it on. Put yeah. it in there as a scary movie. It'll it'll give you a little bit of a huge Jesus a couple times, but nah. I don't think so. Uh, the next one we watched was uh it was a net Netflix original, I believe. Yes it was. Uh, called The Ritual. The Ritual, yes. Um I enjoyed this one, actually. Uh there was no sense of there were a couple of creepy parts to it, but uh, the whole scary thing, they, they, that wasn't... I enjoyed it up until the end when they kind of revealed the alien type figure in it. Oh, see, I thought the monster was... And I went, really? I thought the monster was incredibly well designed. It was... I just didn't like the story. I thought, oh, you know, I liked it. Like, it they, they was like a, like a forest colony type of people like crazy group in the forest i like that like i like that but then having them kind of come and like be it it uh, servants of this monster god or whatever the fuck it is yeah you know i was like oh, okay why couldn't they just be crazy cannibals who you know i thought i think that would have been better Oh, see, I thought that would have been better. You, you realize that, uh, uh, spoilers ahead, by the way, just warning. Yeah, I just um, gave a spoiler before saying anything. I told you the end of the damn movie. I didn't. Yeah, I did with the alien at the end. No, but, but that's the thing. It's going to, they're going to show it, so, uh, it's yeah, not really spoiling it. No, but yeah, sometimes they don't reveal the monster at all. It's mm. just kind of there. Well, but they, the they do the actually movie. do reveal the monster, yeah. and the monster design, I think, is incredible. What what movie was that? What There was another movie that, that was like this, where it was, um, I can't remember what it was. The fuck. It was like a, they were in a colony, and they could only go past, if they went past a certain part, there was monsters. I can't remember what it was. Oh, was. Uh, the M. Night Shyamalan one? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But, no, okay, I thought the, the creature design was incredible on this one. Um, normally, when you get uh, North American movies, you have a very um, common monster design. This one was very unusual. You've never seen, or at least in North America, you haven't seen anything like this before. And it's kind of like, well, is this actually from uh, uh, Swedish mythos? Like, is this a real... Uh, being in the the Swedish mythology, because if it is, that's actually really really neat and really really cool. Um, I so watched the monster this, was I, great. I watched it twice because I watched it when it first came up on Netflix, and then I rewatched it because I wanted to refresh my brain. Yeah, and uh, it starts off like the group a group of guys that go out to like pay respects to a friend that got killed in a robbery. Mm-hmm. Um, they go to like bury him in the, and then a friend gets hurt, and they have to take a shortcut through a forest, which is haunted comes yeah it's supposed to be haunted that's the impression they give you that it's haunted but it's not really haunted it's just like it's a group of well no 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 okay okay this group uh you okay you understand that the, those um 
in, in in the building, the last building he ends up in, mm-hmm. and he starts setting fire to the things. Upstairs, those uh, mummified people were still alive. Yeah, they were immortal. They'd been around for so long that they just. But they were tried actually to... humans, weren't they? they yeah, were like they were people, right? And that creature. Yeah, I thought like when I first was watching the movie, I thought it was going to be like paranormal. That's mm-hmm. what I uh, that that's the impression. And then when they get when humans on, oh, okay, twist, kind of cool. And then it was an alien. I'm like, ooh, it's not really an alien. But though. ooh, oh, this right. mythical monster. I went, oh. It's, okay. I, I enjoyed the, the creature design immensely. Like, it wasn't actually. bad. It wasn't like, oh, this is shit now. It was like, uh, it was just one of those unexpected twists that I kind of went, eh. Uh-huh. Eh. You know? If they just kind of left it at the immortal people and these forest dwelling people, I would have been like, yeah, that's kind of cool. That was neat. But then they brought this other <laughs> mystical thing, and I went, oh, Okay. It was still good. I would watch it. I would recommend watching it. Uh, I, I do actually strongly yeah, recommend absolutely. watching this one. Check it this out. It's actually really good. It's, 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 um, it's a decent movie. Yes. It's a, it's a very decent movie. There's nobody, there's no known actors in it. Nope. You know, so, uh, but so, like, and there's a little bit of gore to it, but nothing too oh, drastic. Nothing too crazy. Um, there's a dead animal. I think there's uh, like a, one dead dude. No, a couple of dead dudes. Yeah. But one no, gets strung up. Yeah. Uh, no, nothing serious, nothing bad. It's 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 good. I, I don't think it had it had a little bit of creepness to it at certain parts, but all in all, it was it just had more like of a, a, yeah. There was a couple parts where it was Blair Witch esque, like where it was yes. at night they were in the tents and then things were happening and it was like oh that's weird, oh that's kind of cool, you know. So there was a couple times where you know if you're in a dark room watching it, you're gonna be like, ooh creepy. <laughs> <laughs> creepy you know and it's but yeah I would re- definitely I would watch it like I would put it on the list on Netflix yeah check it out yeah uh, I would put it ahead of Leatherface oh definitely way you ahead know, of Leatherface you know. in, in my would, opinion given given a choice between the two I will watch uh, it'd be in the top 25 of my list if I have a I have a fairly long list on Netflix <laughs> uh, it, it, if, if I hadn't seen it it would have been top 25 it was one of the ones where when it came out i went click right away and i kind of watched it well and and that's the thing a lot of people are and it's actually highly rated on netflix netflix just doing 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 good stuff this was a a good a hit on their part there have been some misses we have talked about netflix is just throwing everything against the wall right now they are and a lot of it's sticking actually so it's a bit of a surprise i'm starting to find ones that are not because a lot of them are like subtitles they're ones that i want to watch but they're all fucking other language movies and I'm like come on uh, there's uh, one called uh, Dark and it's yeah, watched that in one. Germany yeah and uh, it's a series right there's it's, a, like it's subbed yeah or um, no it's dubbed yeah right and uh, me and the missus were gonna watch it but she can't watch it because they're not synced mm. properly and it bugs her and I'm like I watched that one I thought it was pretty good yeah, I think I watched it I can't remember fuck man I, I like watch one sh- one show and that's the one big problem with Netflix. You watch like a series, you binge it, you're done it in a week, and then you forget about it. And then a year later, season two comes out and you got to rewatch season one because you forget what happens. So well, decided- maybe they, they maybe they kind of do that on purpose, is you know, so because you know uh, everything is based off of traffic. Mm-hmm. So so I think I'm just gonna be like, okay, I want to watch this one. Oh, season one. I'm just gonna wait. To see if season two is coming out, and so on and so forth, and then wait till they cancel it, and then binge the whole fucking series. In some cases, actually, that might be the best way, because having to wait week to week, or um, season to season in some cases. Orange is the New Black. They put out a new season a year ago. Watched it in a week. Now I don't know what's going on in the damn show. Like Netflix, man, I love you. I fucking love you. I love Netflix. Freaking amazing. But if it wasn't for Netflix, I'd have so much more time. Right? No, I no. If it wasn't for Twitch, I'd have more time. <laughs> <laughs> or if it was wasn't that I was so damn lazy, I'd have more time. Mm, it's not so much the streaming or anything. It's just because I'm lazy. And I don't like being outside because I don't like being around people. Because people just frustrate me. I don't like being in crowds. They make me like get all panicky. Cause nobody has manners. Like nobody fucking 
No, not so much anymore. Everybody just like thinks, oh, I'm the king of the world. I can do whatever I want. It's like, back the fuck up. Please, thank you. Excuse like, me. Man, pardon me. One day it's going to be poof. Back the fuck up out of my space. That's the worst when you're like in a shopping, you're in a shop, grocery shop, and somebody's just riding your ass. It's like, all right, seriously? You really got to stand that close to me? Or you're in line and they're like this far from here and they're like, seriously? Personal space. Like, Jesus I, I've Christ, seen man. for um, uh, Japanese um, the sea trains, Japanese mm-hmm. sea trains, somebody invented this little box and it straps on your shoulder and this little box goes around, hangs around you so people can't actually yeah. oh. push up against you and it's just like, Considering how I've seen them stuff people into that train yeah. uh, in Japan, it's kind of like, wow, you gotta just put up with it. Anyways, we want a little rant here. Check, I think check these both movies out. Uh, check the ritual out first, though. And if you got some extra time, then check out some Leatherface. Um, but yeah. I uh, See, I, I was looking it, forward to Leatherface. Yeah, me too. I, I was. It wasn't I was as... Like, oh, this could be very interesting. Yeah. And it just wasn't as It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Yeah. It wasn't as good as I hoped, but it was still like, okay. Hmm. It was one of those, okay, I'm glad I watched it. You know, sometimes, you you know, you got the movies that you, you're like, fuck, why did I just waste my time? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like, there. No, no, no. And it you got was... movies, oh, I'm going to watch that again. It wasn't there. It was kind of in between, you know, the floating scale. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's, I think that's how, that's a good scale. That's a definitely good scale. You got the, I'm going to watch it again, the, why the fuck did I watch it? And then you got everything in between, the floating scale. Most of the movies are going to f- fall on the floating scale, you know, like probably 90%, mm-hmm. and then five and five. Even though I'm finding more in the, why the fuck did I waste my time on that lately? Uh, but we'll probably hit a uh, hit a run of. Uh, I hope so. Um, oh, I'm glad I watched that one. I hope so. Uh, yeah. Avengers: Infinity War is supposed to. It's I catch up on those. I don't even know what one I've watched or not. Maybe we'll do a run of Marvel movies There's or something. A lot of movies. Just huh? to warn you. Hey, we do four shows a week. Eighteen movies. Okay. Eighteen shows coming up. Marvel. Just give me a list and I'll have to work your way through it. Work my way through it. Mm-hmm. All right, so just let us know down below if, uh, if you've watched these two movies and what you guys thought. Uh, just remember, we're not comparing the movies to each other. We just picked two movies to review. Yeah. Uh, on, on the week. Because, yeah. Because there's two of us. Seems logical. I don't know. It works in our minds. And if you have anything you want us to watch, check us out. List it down below. I know there's nobody watching. But hey. We we're still try. here. Yeah. We're trying. We're working hard. Fuck. See ya. Get the See fuck ya. out of here. Go play outside. It's actually springtime now. Is it really? Yeah. You sure? Wow. Surprise winter? Who knows? Yeah. Our three days of winter. <laughs>